in this video we will try to understand how to solve examples on Pelton wheel so this is the typical example and in this particular example we have to find out what will be the power developed or brake power then specific speed of the turbine and then the hydraulic efficiency of the turbine now the problem that we have solved is on Samsung Galaxy Note so hope that you will enjoy that particular part so let us start with an example so we are having over here a Pelton wheel 2.5 meter diameter it operates under the following conditions so net available head is given as 300 meter speed is 300 rpm blade angle at outlet is 165 degree coefficient of velocity is 0 0.98 blade friction coefficient is 0 0.95 jet diameter is 20 centimeter mechanical efficiency is 95 percent and we have to find out the power developed specific speed and hydraulic efficiency so let us write down first the data over here so as you can see over here the diameter of the wheel is given as 2.5 meter net available head is given as 300 meter speed is given as 300 rpm then blade angle at outlet is 165 degree so this is the obtuse angle convert it into the acute angle so it is 165 degree so that is 180 minus 165 so that is 15 degree so this is also known as the clearance angle at the outlet so this will be equal to 15 degree then coefficient of velocity that is cv is given as 0 0.98 so then k is this particular value blade friction coefficient so while passing over the blade the relative velocity is reduced by 0 0.95 times so vr1 is equal to 0 0.95 times vr so we can say that over here this is relative velocity at outlet is decreased because at outlet the absolute velocity is also decreased because it has performed certain work then jet diameter is 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter or 20 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter then mechanical efficiency is given as 95 percent so that also we have written over here we have to find out the the brake power then specific speed we have to find out that is ns and then hydraulic efficiency also we have to find out so these are the various terms which we have to find out so let us start with our first calculation so first we'll start with the jet velocity so we'll find out v correct? v is known as the jet velocity so jet velocity it is given as cv root 2 gh so substitute values so it is cv is 0.98 g is 9.81 and head is 300 so substituting this value we will get the value of this particular as 75.185 meter per second then we will find out the blade speed so u is equal to pi d n upon 60 that is the speed with tangential speed with which the wheel will start rotating turbine wheel will start rotating so this is pi diameter of the turbine wheel is given as 2.5 then speed in rpm is 300 divided by 60 so this will give you the value of the blade speed in meter per second and this value comes out to be 39.269 2699 meter per second now the work done by runner will be given by so it is equal to m dot into v minus u 1 plus k cos phi into now let us balance the units over here mass flow rate will have unit of kg per second difference in velocity is in meter per second 1 play 1 plus k cos phi is a constant of it will not have any unit then this will be kg meter per second square that is nothing but the definition of 1 newton then this meter per second as it is so kg meter per second square is newton so we can say so that this is nothing but newton and this is meter per second so newton meter is nothing but joule so this is nothing but joule per second so and newton meter is nothing but joule so this is joule per second and joule per second is nothing but watt so we can say that this work done by runner is expressed in terms of watt now mass is equal to volume into density so in place of m dot we can substitute rho into q but here we don't know the value of q so first we'll find out that particular value also so let us call this particular equation as equation one so now q is equal to as we have already seen number of jets multiplied by area of jet 
into velocity of jet so number of jets if they are not mentioned we will assume that the number of jets is equal to 1 so n into a into v area is pi by 4 d square and v is the velocity of jet so q will be equal to n that is 1 this is pi by 4 now diameter of jet is given as 0 0.5 square and jet velocity we have just now calculated as 75.185 so this will give us the value of discharge q or volumetric flow rate and that value comes out to be 2.36 meter cube per second now this value we can substitute in our equation 1 rho is the mass density mass density of water is 1000 so we can substitute this value in the work done by runner so in place of rho it is 1000 in place of q it is 2.3608 this is the velocity difference so that will be 75.185 minus 39.2699 1 plus k is 0.95 cos of 15 and u is the blade speed or that value is already we have seen it is 39.2699 so by substituting this value we'll get the value of work done by runner as 6384.95 into 10 raised to 3 watt now for the calculation of the specific speed of turbine we'll require the value in kilowatt and therefore we'll convert this value in kilowatt now mechanical efficiency is given by power developed divided by work done by runner now we know the value of mechanical efficiency just cross multiplied by work done by runner so that we'll get the power developed in watt or kilowatt so this is power developed divided by work done by runner is nothing but 6384.95 into so we'll calculate this value so this is 0 0.95 into 6384.95 so into 10 raised to 3 so it will be in watt or you can convert that value in kilowatt also now specific speed of the turbine will be n under root of power developed in kilowatt so n is given as 300 power developed in kilowatt is 6.06 .06 into 10 raised to 3 so raised to 5 by 4 so h is 300 so 300 raised to 5 by 4 so that value comes out to be 18.71 rpm so Hydraulic efficiency is given by work done by runner divided by head on the turbine or power supply. So work done by runner already we have calculated. So and head on the turbine is nothing but gamma QH. So this is also known as the power supply. Now here gamma is the specific weight of water and that value is 9810 Newton per meter cube. So if you substitute these values over here then we can say that hydraulic efficiency is nothing but so numerator as it is that is 6384.95 into 10 raised to 3 then gamma is 9810 q already we have calculated as 2.3608 so and h is given as 300 and multiplied by 100 so we'll get the value of hydraulic efficiency as 91.95 percent now you can calculate this value of hydraulic efficiency in terms of the instead of head on turbine you can find out you can find out this hydraulic efficiency by considering the jet power also so in some books you'll find that this particular term will be work done by runner divided by jet power so in this way we can calculate the hydraulic efficiency thank you very much for watching